We are back. We are, we are doing the podcast again. We had a lovely uh, break. Lovely is probably overstating it. It was quarantine and a, a, a terrible, terrible uh, pandemic that is correct. Re- wreaking havoc. Before we get going, I have to address this. Th- th- this, is, this is bonkers, guys. So if you remember like a month ago, I recorded one of the podcasts with Henrik and Jay, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And we were bullshitting about all kinds of stuff. And we started talking about bar mitzvahs. And then Jay uh, said something like he, he did a funny riff on it. Like uh, what chapter of Harry Potter was that? And we went off on a Harry Potter thing, right? Mm-hmm. There is no reasonable person that could have watched it and not seen it as a lighthearted conversation amongst colleagues and chums uh, <laughs> having a larf, in, enjoying ourselves uh, uh, about Harry Potter and my experience watching it for the first time in a theater as a Jewish guy and, and how some tropes are so embedded in society that they're uh, basically invisible, even in a considered process like movie making, right? Absolutely. So um, we did that a month ago. A month ago. So like two COVID mutations ago, back when we were still in like beta world or whatever, wherever we were, this is a month ago. This morning I wake up, it's trending on Twitter. And here's the headline from Newsweek. Jon Stewart accuses J.K. Rowling, 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 J.K. Rowling of anti-Semitism. So let, let me let me just say this, like super clearly, as clearly as I can. Uh, can I get a close up? All right, You're in control of video. your own camera. Right. Bring your I'm face in. I'm in, in control in. of my close ups. All right, let me get camera this. one. Hello, uh, my name is John Stewart. I do not think J.K. Rowling is anti-Semitic. I did not accuse her of being anti-Semitic. I do not think that the Harry Potter movies are anti-Semitic. I really love the Harry Potter movies, probably too much for a gentleman of my considerable age. Uh, So I would just like to say that none of that is true and not a reasonable person could not have looked at that conversation and not found it lighthearted. So let me say this instead to Newsweek. Um, Your business model is fucking arson. And not the good kind, not the good kind of arson where they light stuff and control it to prevent forest fires in the future. The kind of arson where you're on the mountain and you've got fucking five minutes and you don't know where the dogs are. Like that's your business model. And now all the shitheads pile into this ridiculously out of context nonsense uh, that, that you put out there. And let me tell you something, Newsweek, you used to mean something. You know what I mean? You were my go-to at the airport when the kiosk was out of Time magazine. <laughs> Boom! Roasted! Roasted. Weekly magazine roasted. Yeah. Not a Hudson News. So again, <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. I'm not accusing J.K. Rowling of being anti-Semitic. She need not answer to any of it. I don't want the Harry Potter movies censored in any way. Uh, it was a lighthearted conversation. Get a fucking grip. Uh, and uh, in final... My final word is, is simply this. Good day. A good day, sir. You know, John, there's a moral to the good story. Day. You know what this means? What? Grown men are not allowed to talk about children's movies. <laughs> <laughs> so let me say this right now to Newsweek magazine. Dispirioso lamentoso. But you don't know what you it just works. said in wizard speak. You could have yeah, made probably... another mistake. <laughs> <laughs> 